Hey Dynamics 365ers, it's Benique here and today I'm going to show you how users can self-register against a calendar event in Dynamics portals. So in case you haven't seen my previous vlog, go and, and check it out. What I did was I showed how you can display a list in the format of a calendar in Dynamics portals. So the next step is, okay, well how can I get the user to do a self-registration against that record? And you can do this without any code in Dynamics portals. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I have my lovely Game of Thrones themed portal. It is on Westeros Recruitment. So in case you haven't seen my previous vlogs, it is where individuals apply for positions across the seven kingdoms of Westeros. And this is the list that I showed in my previous blog, and it's now displaying as a calendar. And when we open one of these um, events, we will see the event form load in read-only mode. But next thing that you would like is for your users to self-register for this particular calendar event. And that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm back in my Dynamics 365 and we're going to go ahead and open up that event entity form. So in my event entity form, this is where I've set it to be read only. And as we scroll down, the cool thing about Dynamics Portal's entity forms is that you can do some additional configuration. So in here, you can actually um, have a button where it will go ahead and create a related record. So what I've done is I've created a custom entity where the user can create a self-registration for that calendar event. So basically what I've done is that particular custom entity is now being defined through this relationship as I have a lookup view to the event entity and I'm calling a Dynamics Portals entity form that I've created where the mode on the form is to allow the user to create. So now when I go into my um, solution I have a subgrid here that I've added into that event web form and basically I'm going to unhide it so as part of the vlog from last time I hit it. Okay so now that has been published and now if we go back into our portal we clear the cache and after the cache has been cleared we are going to go ahead and refresh the event web page and so what should happen after the cache is cleared we should now see a button which will allow the portal user to register. I'm just going to go back because I realized I forgot to add a button label. So we'll just wait for the, the cache to finish clearing. So now when we go back to the event record and we refresh the page, we can now see that there's that subgrid that is displaying. And if I now click on register, so this is the button that we had created from this additional configuration settings against the entity form. It will now bring up a uh, pop-up, so this is a modal form, and then I can go ahead and type in some dietary requirements. If you had other fields in the custom entity, so my event registration record, um, it would be showing in here. And so now when I click on submit, it will go ahead and create that record and we can see here that um, I've now registered against the registration. Okay, so now that I showed you how you could do the self-registration from the Dynamics portals, I'm going to show you what that record looks like in Dynamics 365. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to that event record. And when we open up the event record and we go to the event registrations associated view, we will see that event registration and you can see that the dietary requirements have been captured and that we have set the contact to Jane Smith so that's some configuration that I've done 
it gets the event registration dynamics portals entity form that I've created and yeah that was my quick tip I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on blogger and please follow me on twitter as well until next time bye